name is Ebony Morgan, and I graduated from Abeka Christian High School Academy. Hey, my name is Grayson Booth, and I'm graduating from JRO High School. Hello, my name is Hallie Palmer, and I'm graduating from Providence Preparatory School. Hey, my name is Jessica Vaden, and I'm graduating from Temple High School. I am Elijah Vicker, and I am graduating from Belton High School. Hello, my name is Brandon Baker. I am graduating from Belton High School. Hi, my name is Emily Witten. I'm graduating from Belton High School. I'm just glad to be done. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite memories in high school uh, is the several uh, when I play competitions that I participated in. Uh, it, it was so great to be able to get so close with the, uh, the fellow actors and crew members and stuff. And it was just such a good, it was so fun as well. My favorite memory from high school is the fact that I got to bond with kids in grades other than my own. In my school we have a house system and what this is is fifth graders and up are chosen into a house one of four houses and I'm in the house of Elliot so this it means that every Friday we have chapel together and we we have lunch together and I've gotten to bond with children from fifth grade to twelfth grade and make friends and it has been so amazing during high school I had the opportunity to take college courses and actually earn my college degree before my high school diploma um, just working on cars and having fun with friends and, and uh, Mr. B, the auto tech teacher. One of my favorite memories from high school is auto tech, just when people gave me my nickname, Barndonian. My favorite memory from high school was probably being on the soccer team. Uh, my plans are going to Temple College. Um, something in the medical field like nursing or childhood education. Um, but with this pandemic, maybe next year in 2021. My plans after high school are perhaps to take a gap semester or something, because I heard on the internet that that might be a good idea right now. And then perhaps uh, probably attend uh, Temple College for like the first couple years just to get the basic stuff out of the way and then move on to a more expensive school like UMHB uh, to get my more uh, computer science degree is what I'm thinking right now. And so, yeah. This fall, I plan on attending Southern Nazarene University to study early childhood education and hopefully one day to become an elementary teacher. After I graduate, I plan to attend Tarleton State University and major in biomedical sciences. I want to be an automotive mechanic and a transmission specialist. My plan after, high, uh, after I graduate is going up to TSTC, becoming a uh, gas technician first and then get my uh, associate's degree and then a certificate for diesel. My plans after I graduate are I'm going to nursing school at Columbia State in Tennessee. Um, one thing I learned is probably just trust God and keep trusting Him and don't stop trusting Him. Something that I learned as, as a teenager that I might want to take into adulthood is uh, I feel like I'm more outgo outgoing towards people and I really want to be able to be more social as I you know, grow older and you know, be able to talk to random strangers and stuff. I feel like I really like doing that sort of thing, so. One thing I learned as a teenager that I hope I carry with me for the rest of my life is the fact that only God is my God. It's that nobody else can be my God and nobody else can satisfy me like God can and only God is my God. And I hope that I always remember that. Something that I learned as a teenager is to only focus on what you can fix in the present and not what happened in the past. Don't be a daredevil, uh, try not to get hurt. Uh, think twice before you say something bad or do something bad. Something that I've learned as a teenager is 
don't just jump to conclusions. Always make sure you need to get your facts straight before you go and do something. In high school, I learned how to work really hard, and so I really hope I can carry that over into my college days. Probably eventually doing laundry on my own and not having my mom do it. Cooking for my family and I. Something that I'm looking forward to learning as an adult would be, uh, for one thing, how to support myself, you know, get a good job, uh, learn how to like pay bills and stuff and pay taxes, because I have no idea how to do that. Uh, and another thing would be, I really like, like technology stuff. I like phones, I like computers. I like being able to like program a little bit and I want to learn more how to do that stuff, sort of thing, which is why I'm doing a, a computer science degree, so. Something I'm excited about learning when I become an adult is um, growing my faith more independently. I get to choose to go to church. I'm not just going with my parents. I'm choosing to love God and honor Him by going to church and going to small groups and growing my faith with Him. I'm really looking forward to learning the skills that I need to become a pediatrician. Um, learning new cooking skills and automotive skills and working with people and friends and family and, and uh, learning to be an adult. One thing I look forward to becoming as an adult is one, becoming a diesel technician and gasoline technician, but two, learning how to just deal with everyday life. One thing that I hope to learn throughout adulthood is just to, how to be independent and really just lean into God and see what He has planned for me. So. I want to thank my, all my church family for helping us seniors through this pandemic and encouraging us. Something that I would like to say to all my church family would be, I, I, I just, I love you guys. Uh, I am gonna really miss you as I go, go older and grow older and uh, do my own thing. Perhaps I can keep going either here or Wayfinders. Uh, I, and I just really want to be able to help with that some more if I can, uh, but I, I love you guys. Uh, thank you to everyone who has supported me, especially my family who has given me so much support throughout the years, and especially my church family, who has shown me so much love for the past years that I am so thankful for. I just wanna say thank you to my church family for everything y'all have done for me and supporting me through my journey. Uh, no one in particular, but uh, thanks for everything that everyone's done for me at the church and all my family for helping me get through hard times and everything, and that's it. Thank you for just supporting me during the, these past few years that you've known me. I want to say thank you to Hannah, our youth director, for just helping me and everything I've been through. Um, I really just wanted to thank uh, everyone in the church that has supported me throughout the past few years. It's really meant a lot to me and also my parents and Katie and Hayden and just all of y'all. Thank you so much.